Las Vegas Aces are on the brink of being eliminated from the WNBA playoffs, and recently they have been in the news for... The Las Vegas Aces find themselves teetering on the brink of elimination from the WNBA playoffs, a situation that has thrust them into the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. Central to the recent criticism is Aja Wilson, whose playoff performance has come under intense scrutiny. While some might defend her by citing her regular season prowess, the reality of her playoff struggles paints a different picture. Let's delve into the complexities surrounding Wilson's performance, her rivalry with Caitlin Clark, and how this dynamic is reshaping the WNBA landscape. Aja Wilson, a cornerstone of the Las Vegas Aces, has long been celebrated for her exceptional skills and leadership on the court. However, her recent playoff performance has left many fans and analysts questioning her ability to deliver under pressure. In a must-win game, Wilson scored only 19 points in the fourth quarter, shooting the ball twice. This stark contrast to her regular season averages of 19 points and 10 rebounds might seem negligible at first glance, but the context tells a different story. The Aces were trailing by 12 points entering the fourth quarter, and Wilson's limited contribution in such a critical moment was seen as a significant factor in their eventual loss. Critics argue that Wilson's performance in the playoffs was underwhelming, especially given her status as one of the league's top players. They point out that despite her impressive statistics, her inability to dominate in the clutch moments cost her team dearly. The disappointment is compounded by the fact that Wilson had previously been a dominant force, leading her team with unwavering confidence and impressive performances. This recent slump has ignited a debate about whether Wilson can maintain her elite status in the high-stakes environment of the playoffs. In stark contrast stands Caitlin Clark, whose rise in the WNBA has been nothing short of meteoric. Clark, who recently moved up to the 135-pound weight class, has quickly become a central figure in the league. Alongside Devin Haney, she has captured the attention of fans and pundits alike. However, there are whispers questioning Clark's readiness for the challenges that come with her new weight class. Critics argue that her power was lacking at 126 or 130 pounds, raising concerns about how she will fare against bigger, more formidable opponents in the 135-pound division. Despite these criticisms, many boxing professionals and analysts believe that Clark is more than ready to take on the competition. They highlight her exceptional defensive skills, hand speed, and ability to control the game's tempo. Clark's style, reminiscent of legendary players like LeBron James, emphasizes both scoring and facilitating, making her a dual threat on the court. Her ability to dish out assists with the precision of a seasoned playmaker has transformed her team from bottom dwellers to genuine contenders. The rivalry between Wilson and Clark is more than just a battle of two-star players, it's a clash of different styles and philosophies. Wilson, known for her dominant scoring and physicality, represents the traditional powerhouse in the WNBA. Clark, on the other hand, embodies the modern, versatile player who can score, pass, and defend with equal prowess. This dynamic has not only intensified their individual performances, but also elevated the entire league's competitive spirit. One of the most intriguing aspects of this rivalry is the media narrative that has emerged around Wilson's recent struggles. A commercial where Wilson confidently declared, winning isn't for everyone, has become a focal point of criticism. This statement, intended to highlight her competitive nature, has backfired spectacularly. Critics argue that Wilson's playoff exit validates her own words, suggesting that her philosophy may be flawed or, at the very least, has become a subject of ironic critique. Wilson's elimination from the playoffs, especially as the first unanimous MVP in WNBA history to not reach the finals, has sparked a widespread conversation about performance under pressure. This unprecedented situation has led fans to reassess Wilson's legacy and question whether her recent form is indicative of a deeper issue or merely a temporary setback. In contrast, Caitlin Clark's ascent continues to impress. Her rookie season was nothing short of historic, earning her the 2024 Rookie of the Year award with an overwhelming majority of the votes. Clark shattered records by accumulating the most points, assists, and even achieving multiple triple-doubles in her debut season, an achievement unprecedented for a rookie in the WNBA.
Her ability to consistently deliver high-level performances has not only garnered her accolades but also significantly boosted the league's viewership and popularity. Clark's impact extends beyond mere statistics. Her style of play is revolutionizing the point guard position in the WNBA, blending scoring, passing, and defensive prowess in a way that few have seen before. Her three-point shooting is redefining what's possible, making long-range shots seem effortless and integral to her game plan. This versatility makes her a nightmare matchup for opponents who must prepare for a player who can do it all. The rivalry between Wilson and Clark is more than just a one-off clash. It represents a potential shift in the WNBA's power dynamics. While Wilson has been a dominant force for years, Clark's emergence introduces a new era of play that emphasizes versatility and adaptability. This changing of the guard could have far-reaching implications for the league, influencing everything from team strategies to player development programs. Fans and analysts are deeply engaged in this narrative, with social media buzzing with every development. Memes and hot takes abound, especially following Wilson's recent playoff performance. The irony of Wilson's winning isn't for everyone statement being used against her has created a meme frenzy, further fueling the debate. These discussions are not just limited to casual fans, they extend to serious sports analysts who are reevaluating Wilson's contributions and Clark's potential impact. Despite the criticism, Wilson remains a respected figure in the league. Her accolades, including two time Defensive Player of the Year and multiple MVP awards, underscore her importance to the Aces and the WNBA as a whole. However, the recent playoff loss has forced her and her team to confront their shortcomings and work towards improvement. The narrative now centers on whether Wilson can rebound from this setback and reaffirm her status as one of the league's elite players. On the flip side, Clark's rise is largely seen as a beacon of hope for the WNBA's future. Her ability to elevate her team from a struggling position to playoff contenders has resonated with fans who crave excitement and dynamic performances. Clark's success has translated into increased viewership, with the WNBA experiencing a 400% growth in viewership attributed to her presence alone. This surge in popularity highlights the significant role that star players like Clark can play in elevating the entire league. The potential for Clark to challenge Wilson for the MVP title has ignited passionate debates among fans and analysts. Clark's combination of scoring, passing, and defensive skills makes her a formidable contender for the top individual honor, pushing Wilson to defend her own accolades. This competition between two of the league's brightest stars adds an extra layer of excitement to the WNBA season, drawing in viewers who are eager to witness the unfolding drama. The media's role in shaping this rivalry cannot be understated. Coverage of Wilson's struggles and Clark's successes has amplified the stakes, creating a compelling storyline that transcends the individual performances. The narrative of a seasoned star facing a rising phenom is a classic sports tale, one that captivates audiences and generates widespread interest. This storytelling aspect is crucial in maintaining and growing the WNBA's fan base, ensuring that the league remains relevant and engaging. As the season progresses, the pressure on both Wilson and Clark intensifies. For Wilson, the goal is to bounce back from the playoff disappointment and reaffirm her dominance in the league. This requires not only addressing the technical aspects of her game, but also managing her public image and handling the heightened expectations placed upon her. Wilson's ability to adapt and evolve will be critical in determining her